www.tastytuesday.org. And it is time for Tasty Tuesday Wednesday. We had a great day yesterday at Sally Kate Winters, so we decided to fast forward Tasty Tuesday to, I guess, Delicious Wednesday, or however you want to say it. But it is brought to you by PrimeShrimp.com. That is P-R-I-M-E Shrimp.com, which is your one-stop shop for pre-seasoned, easy-to-cook shrimp. The best part, it's delivered straight to your door. Use code Good things for twenty dollars off your first order. Don't forget to do that. Take advantage of that twenty bucks. That's primeshrimp.com. And they've got plenty of flavors for you to try. Don't forget their newest is the garlic herb butter, which cooks up just like the Alfredo. You've heard us talk about that on Good Things. Your sauce and your protein is all in the same bag. The only thing you have to add to it is what you want to pour it over. So whether it's rice or noodles or you can get creative uh, with that. You get the boiling bag rice. Yep. You get the garlic herb butter, prime shrimp, you got a meal. You've got a meal, which I know we always talk about dinner in a flash or making it simple. And you really had to go for that over the last uh, couple of days, Rhino, because you, you you know what it's like now to move. The last time you moved was like 12 years ago, I think you had mentioned. Oh, yeah. So it's been over a decade since you felt that kind of pain that so many of us have felt over, you know, over and over and over again for different reasons, the pain of moving. And you don't realize, oh, yeah, I got to eat, and it's not as easy. So how have you handled the last couple of days? I had several nights where I looked down and I was like, wait, I didn't eat lunch, and it's after supper time, so I need to get something quick. And Prime Shrimp made it really simple, really easy. All I had to do was just I made sure to pack a couple pots and pans in the first run before the movers even started moving anything. So I had those. All I had to do is take the prime shrimp from the freezer at the old place, leave it in the freezer at the new place, and it was ready for me. Any of the times where I looked down, I'm like, yeah, I'm hungry. Like now, like five minutes ago, hungry. So super easy. Again, you just take the pot, fill it with water, let it boil, throw the prime shrimp over in there, let it cook. It recommends flipping it halfway through. Never done it. You don't have to, but <laughs> I, I've I've done it and I haven't done it. They've turned out fine both ways. But yeah, when it when you use the minute rice in the boiling bag, I guess there's different brands, but whatever. Boiling bag rice in one pan, boiling water, prime shrimp in the other pot, boiling water. Went and started unpacking the rest of my glasses and stuff. Came back when the timer went off. Threw it together. It's delicious. We did not move this week. I have absolutely no excuses. I did not get creative in the kitchen at all, which is fine. Easter kind of took over. But that's where just having a couple of the Alfredo in the freezer helped us out. We got them out, made our dinner easy peasy. Again, I, you know, transparency, kids aren't all about shrimp, but they do love the Alfredo sauce and the noodles. So mom and dad dad get more shrimp and kids get get their noodles. And so everybody wins in our house. And we just want to remind you, too, you win when you use code GOODTHINGS at primeshrimp.com. It's worth giving it a try. There's no catch to it. You don't get set up on some, you know, all the time sending you things. So give it a try once. See what it's all about. And you'll order again. I mean, you just will. So many of you have texted in and said, I gave it a try. I'm buying more because you recognize how simple, you know, simple it is. It's definitely worth keeping at least a couple packs on hand. So what's not simple, or maybe it is, is picking your favorite dessert. I know we were talking about donuts. We'll move past that because half donut, whole donut, you got ten fingers. That's why they have the hole in it, one for each hand, whatever you want to think about it. Well, donuts are in that weird middle ground where they're sweet like a dessert, uh but they're considered breakfast. Well, yeah, that's exactly you... If you eat muffins for breakfast, you're eating cupcakes for breakfast. You've just left off the icing, which does take you up a notch in the health department. But let's be let's be clear. You're it muffin is code for cupcake in, before noon. It's so, just a bald cupcake. It's just a it's just a bald uh, cupcake. Speaking of national days, though, and desserts, today is National Banana Day. Why banana needs a national day, I'm not really sure. But then on the other why does any other day need their their day on the calendar? So, of course, you know, it's good fruit. You can think of it all the different ways. But when you think about the best ways to use bananas in terms of baking, and don't give me all of this 
ways to make flourless crap or whatever with bananas. Don't call them pancakes, whatever it may be. Let's go to the good stuff. So we love to food fight here. Hey, hey, hey. There's nothing wrong with banana pancakes. No, there's not. Unless you're trying to tell me that they don't tell me that, oh, you can be help. You will never miss pancakes. Do not say that you well, would no, rather. That's not banana pancakes. That's... I'm talking about the ones who take the banana and they make them and they're like, you can make the flourless, healthier version of slapjacks by utilizing this fruit and a little bit of something else. And cook yeah, that's it just up. wrong. You mean you might can and I'm sure it will digest and keep you alive. But don't insult my intelligence and tell me that I'm going to sit down and not daydream about a stack of actual flatjacks with butter and, you know, all the things. So let's. I'm just saying it, it should be considered one of the kitchen Olympic sports to pour out the pancake batter, have a banana ready. You're and mixing slice those it together. On top of pancakes. Yeah, that's, that's my that's banana That's a banana pancakes. cake. I'm talking about these health fools who want to take all the good stuff away from you. And then smush up a banana and tell you that you can close your eyes and dream that you're at IHOP. Like it ain't happening. No. I mean, <laughs> you may get, you may stay full till till lunch, but you're not satisfied with any of that with any of that garbage. But what is satisfying is when you take a banana and you make banana pudding, a banana split, or banana nut bread. Those are the three things I could think of that were common in the dessert category for the good old nanner. So if you had to choose one. For the rest of your life, which one are you going with for banana desserts? Mm, that's tough because I do. I, I've grown to love banana splits. I hated them as a kid. I thought it was a waste of perfectly good ice cream because why are you putting fruit in this this sweet deliciousness that is ice cream? I was also against fruit flavored ice creams. I didn't like strawberry ice cream. I give me chocolate. I was a chocolate fanatic when it came to ice cream. So I was adamantly opposed to banana splits as a kid but now i really like them so it's it's tough but do you split banana, the banana nut bread is the one that it's it's i love banana nut bread banana nut bread muffins are, are great but out of those three get it out of here so mm, between banana pudding and banana and banana split is i'm gonna it, have to go with banana split is it dairy queen that does the good banana split with the hot chocolate that they pour that then sets oh yeah you can get that one or they got to go in at sonic because they even have the, the crazy plastic holder for it or maybe i'm thinking sonic and not thinking of wherever it is but it come but on the commercial it looks like the chocolate is perfectly dripped and drizzled and slightly hardened and it's got the little wallop at the top that you know it's probably photoshopped in but yet you expect to get that when you place your order I don't know. This was a tough one for me between banana nut bread and banana pudding. I adore my mother's banana pudding. I don't dislike it at all. I think it's a delicacy, it's particularly as we move into the summertime. But a man, a good cup of coffee and fresh, out of the oven, moist banana nut bread done well. And that is not a health food, by the way, if you think you're doing well by that. If you ever look at the, you know, I could eat a whole loaf to myself. It's one of those things that sits on your counter and somehow it just disappears because every time you walk by, you talk about us the That's how you know it's a health lady, food. It just evaporates. The church lady slither will happen with the banana nut bread every time you kind of walk by. And especially around the holidays or special like a weekend, you get a fresh loaf and you're doing things around the house and you're not really wanting to stop for, you know, a meal. You will slow, you'll pull, peel back that saran wrap or that cling wrap and just get a little pinch, and get a little pinch, and get a little pinch before you know it. <gasps> well, that loaf's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Everyone said Mike from Ridgeland, banana pudding, hands down. Bananas foster. Look, that's a whole nother pay grade that I'm not familiar with. So my mind didn't even go to bananas foster. You just need you a burner. That's, yeah. That has the flame. you got to have the flame on there. You can't use an electric burner. And you need some banana liqueur, and you need some Bacardi 151 because that's what catches on fire. Banana oatmeal, banana walnut, chocolate chip cookies. JB, yes. I give them a try for sure. And that's too fancy for me. I would drink the liqueur and eat the banana and never, <laughs> never make it 
all together. Although it is delicious if you've ever had it where they make it in front of you and it's it's kind of fun that way. With the clarified butter and the brown sugar and all that. Uh huh. So we are officially one for banana nut bread, one for banana split, and we have only one, Mike from Ridgeland, for banana pudding. I did not see that coming. I didn't either. We're split. We're split down to banana. <laughs> you can you can add to it coming up next here on Good